Welcome to the first session of printer repairing. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to assemble and disassemble an ancient printer and the techniques of repairing it. The objective of this lecture is to introduce all of the students to the functioning, working principles and processes involved in an inkjet printer. In this lecture, we will be covering introduction of an inkjet printer, history, drop on demand and ink formulation, assembling and disassembling, and testing of cartridge. Let's start with introduction to the inkjet printer. These printers create a digital image by propelling droplets of ink into paper, plastic or other substrates. These printers are commonly used and ranges from small inexpensive consumer models to very large professional machines. The concept of inkjet printing originated in the 19th century and the, and the technology was first extensively developed in the early 1950s. In the late 1970s, inkjet printers that could reproduce digital images generated by computers were developed. Canon, HP, Epson and Lexmark dominate the market of inkjet printers. Now let's see what is a continuous inkjet method. The continuous inkjet is used commercially for marking and coding of products and packages. In CIJ technology, a high pressure pump directs liquid ink from a reservoir through a gun body and a microscopic nozzle. A piezoelectric crystal creates an acoustic wave as it vibrates within the gun body. It causes the stream of liquid to break into droplets at regular intervals. The field varies according to the degree of drop deflection desired. Thus, variable electrostatic charge on each droplet is obtained. Charged droplets are separated by one or more uncharged guard droplets to minimize electrostatic repulsion between neighboring droplets. A famous term which is called as drop on demand is used for thermal inkjet process where the print cartridges contains a series of tiny chambers and contain a heater and are constructed by a photolithography. The inks used are usually water-based and use pigments and dyes as the colorant. Some printers use a piezoelectric material in an ink-filled chamber behind each nozzle instead of a heating element. When a voltage is applied, a piezoelectric material changes shape, which generates a pressure pulse in the fluid, forcing a droplet of ink from the nozzle. This technology is used to mark products on production lines. 